A chemical formula. A chemical formula tells us two things: the types of atoms in the compounds, atoms or ions in the compounds, and the number of atoms and uh, or ions in the compounds. For example, so this one C two H four. Uh, this is an ethene. Okay, this is an ethene. Uh, you're going to learn ethene in form five. Okay, form five, the second chapter, carbon compounds. You're going to learn ethene. Eh? Okay, so in form four, most probably you don't know what is ethene, but uh, that's not important. Okay, this uh, chemical formulas of ethene. Now, from these chemical formulas, uh, we know two things. Uh, first, we know that in ethene there are carbons and hydrogens, right? Okay, there are carbon and hydrogens. Uh, so you see, the chemical formula tells us the types of atoms uh, or ions in the compound. Second, we know how many carbon and how many hydrogens in the molecule. Okay, two carbons and four hydrogens, right? Okay, so uh, the subscript here shows the number, uh, okay, the number of uh, atoms. Okay, so C2 means that two carbons, uh, H4 means uh, four hydrogens. Okay, so you see this. Chemical formula it tells us two things: uh, the types of atom and the number of atoms. Two carbons, four hydrogens. Okay, so that is the functions of a chemical formula. Uh, okay, it gives us a lot of information about the molecule. Okay, so that's the first thing that you need to know. Okay, now there are two types of formula: the empirical formulas and the molecular formula. Now uh, let's see what does it mean by uh, empirical formula. Now before we know what is empirical formulas, uh, first we need to know what does it mean by empiric. Okay, empiric. Uh. Now, empiric or empirical means information gained by means of observations, experience, or experiment. Empirical or empiric, okay, is the uh, knowledge that we get from experiment. Okay, for for chemistry and physics, so that's from ex uh, from experiment. So, what is empirical formula? Empirical formulas are the formulas that we get from experiment. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's why we call it empirical formula, but that's not the definition. Sir. Uh, empirical formula has uh, different definitions, but that is the meaning of empirical. Okay, empirical means that uh, the knowledge is we get it from experiment. Okay, the definitions of empirical formula. Also, oh, this this is the definition for empirical formula. The empirical formula of a substance is the chemical formula that gives the simplest whole number ratios of atoms of each element. In the substance okay so what does this mean sir? let's say just now we have learned ethene right okay ethene uh, we know that the molecular formula is C2H4 okay C2H4 but empirical formula it only gives the simplest whole number ratio of all the atoms eh? so the empirical formula you see the the ratio eh? The ratio of carbon to hydrogen is two to four. Uh, that is the ratio, right? Okay, but this is not the simplest ratio. The simplest ratio is one to two, right? Okay, the simplest ratio is one to two. Uh. Okay, so this is the simplest ratio. Therefore, the um, empirical formula is C H two. Okay, C H two. Uh. So the empirical formula it gives the simplest ratio of the atoms of all the elements uh, in the molecule. Okay, so so the simplest ratio is one to two. Then the formula is CH two. So that is empirical formula. Yeah, it's a formula. It's a chemical formula. Uh, they give the simplest whole number ratios of the atoms of each element in the substance. And you need to memorize these definitions. Yeah, you need to memorize these definitions. It, this is asked quite often in your test or exam. Another chemical formula is the molecular formula. Okay, the molecular formula. So the molecular formula of a substance is the chemical formulas that give the actual numbers of atoms of each element in the substance. Okay, for example, sir, just now ethene, right? We learned ethene, right? C two H four. Okay, this formula it tells us the actual numbers of carbons and actual numbers of hydrogens uh, in the molecule, and this is called molecular formula. Okay, it's called the molecular formula. Empirical formula show the uh, simplest ratio right CH2 okay because the ratio is 1 to 2 uh, 1 to 2 and this is called the empirical formula okay so that's the difference that's the difference between molecular formula and empirical formula molecular formula it shows the actual numbers of each elements but empirical formula it only shows the simplest ratios of each elements in the molecule 
up to this stage, okay, some of you may ask, then why we need empirical formula? Since we have molecular formula, the molecular formula, it gives us all the information, right? The actual numbers of carbons and the actual numbers of hydrogens, right? From these actual numbers of carbon and hydrogen, actually, we straight away know the simplest ratio, right? From here, we straight away know the, the ratio is 1 to 2. Then, then why we still need the empirical formula, right? The answer is, empirical formula is the formula that you get from experiment. So from experiment, you can only get empirical formula. You cannot get molecular formula. You do experiments, then you do some calculations, then you can only get empirical formula. And then from empirical formula, we find molecular formula, which means uh, before we know the empirical formula, we don't know the molecular formula. You must find the empirical formula first, then only you can find the molecular formula. Okay. So that is not the question that whether we want the empirical formula or we don't want. Okay? You must find the empirical formula first before you can find molecular formula. So that is the significance of empirical formula. Okay? Actually, we want molecular formula only, but before that, we must find the empirical formula first. Huh? So that is uh, the two types of uh, chemical formula that you need to know, empirical formula and molecular formula. Tell me the molecular formula of water, H2O, right? Okay, then how about the empirical formula? Empirical formula? Okay, the answer is still H2O, eh? okay? It shows the actual number. The actual number is 2 to 1, right? The ratio is 2 to 1, and this 2 to 1 is also the simplest ratio already. This 2 to 1 is already the simplest ratio. Therefore, the empirical formula is equal to the molecular formula. So the empirical formula can be the same eh, as the molecular formula. Okay, carbon dioxide, the molecular formula CO2, right? Mm. The empirical formula is also CO2. Eh? Okay. Benzene, benzene, okay, the molecular formula C6H6. Uh, you, you don't need to memorize this, okay? You don't need to memorize this. Uh, benzene C6H6, okay? So tell me the empirical formula for benzene. CH, that's right. That's right, okay, CH. Eh? Butane. Uh, sorry, I think this should be butene, butene, E, yeah. do some corrections here, butene, okay, so the molecular formula C4H8, uh, so empirical formula CH2, CH2, that's right, so you see, that is the difference between molecular formulas and empirical formula, okay, example one, Write a formula for a molecule with 4 phosphorus atoms and 10 oxygen atoms per molecule. So write the formula for this one, okay? Given that it has 4 phosphorus atoms and 10 oxygen atoms. Phosphorus, the symbol is P. Yeah? The symbol for phosphorus is P. Oxygen is O. Okay, so what's the answer for A? P4, O, 10, eh? okay? Then what's the empirical formula? What's the empirical formula? P2O5, yes, P2O5. Okay, that's correct.